For the last 12 years of my life, I've smoked cannabis. I started doing it after it was made cool, but before it was made normal and acceptable. I did it in the first place because I was inspired by musical legends, like Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, Bob Marley, and The Doors. I thought it was like a sort of key to creativity, and my heroes were living proof of that fact. I bought my first gram of weed in the ninth grade at school on the way to the bus. A shady kid passed me a small wadded up bag and I passed him back a $20 bill. Teachers and peers watching us, it was a rush. You see here? It was my first time, but not my last. Let's go up high. I smoked it by myself in a homemade bong behind my house. And that night, my whole world changed. I smoked all through high school. I didn't really drink. Bob Marley said alcohol was the devil's juice. Herb. Herb is a plant. I mean, herbs are good for everything. I love to smoke and play music. I love to smoke and go skateboarding. I love to smoke and go on walks. I love to smoke and eat. I love to smoke early in the morning and drink coffee. I love to smoke and write. I love to smoke and hang out with friends. You could pair almost anything with smoking. Especially more smoking. I would smoke in my crappy job at the burger joint. I would smoke and go to church events. I began to smoke every night before bed and every morning when I woke up. By the time I turned 21, I had done a little of everything drug-wise. I got a taste for liquor, but none of it ever replaced cannabis. Eventually, I got my dream job at the up-and-coming medical cannabis dispensary. I worked my way up the ranks, and it became my whole life. It was a life where I could smoke as much as I wanted, and whenever I wanted, and it was like a fever dream. Around this time, I largely smoked by myself, for selfish and practical reasons. When I smoked with others, I would eventually feel stuck and restless, and they'd usually be done after a couple of packs. I was not so easily satisfied. This is what an average day in my life would look like. I'd wake up at 3.30 a.m. I'd smoke while I drank coffee and watch YouTube videos. I'd always make sure I had a joint rolled up or my electric dab rig ready to go for the drive to work. I'd smoke on my way to work. Uh, before I walk through, through the door at work, I'd make sure I took like 25 milligram edibles all the way to like 300 milligrams of edibles. On my break, I would smoke um, pretty much the whole time. I got 30 minutes at, at the very beginning. And then I got an hour near the end. I had it all split up, so I, I'd smoke during the first like 10 minutes of my break. And then I'd do a little bit of something, play a video game, read or whatever, and I'd smoke for the last 10 minutes. Once I got the hour break, I'd smoke for like 20 minutes, and then I'd eat for like 10 minutes, and then I'd smoke for another 30 minutes. After a long day at work, 10 hour shift, I'd get off and I would smoke with my, with my colleagues. We'd smoke to like decompress and vent about our day. Um, and that would happen for like, couple hours um, and then after all that finally when I got home I come out here and I'd smoke I'd smoke and I'd watch YouTube videos and I spent hours I spent countless hours out here just smoking away and that's a day in my life or used to be don't ask me how much it costs I don't want to know recently I got married to my beautiful perfect wife I left my job at the now recreational cannabis retail store. I bought a car I love but can't easily afford. I began playing guitar again after not having time after high school and began paying more attention to the strange health problems that would flare up whenever I smoked. I could sick and pass out and have a tight chest and feel scared and anxious. All these signs screamed to me. You need to stop. But once things went back to normal, I would go smoke to relax because that was stressful 
and so I went on like this. In the past, I only stopped smoking if I had to. I was actually ruined vacations with complaining. I illegally brought pot with me across state lines. I feel empty without it. All I could think about was getting one more good tasty hit and that warm feeling behind my eyes when it started taking its effect. I've never felt like an addict. It's always just felt like something that I was doing that was great and almost magical. I've never had or never thought I've had any problems with drugs or alcohol. But recently, I feel like things have changed. I look at my behavior and I see so much wasted time and potential. So many hours of blowing smoke, doing nothing, making nothing, spending time with no one. Man, I see in Fight Club the strongest and smartest men who've ever lived. I see all this potential, and I see it squandered. For the last year, I tell myself, Okay, this Monday is it. Starting Monday, you're putting it down. Sometimes I'd say a week. Sometimes I'd say for good. But every time the day would come, I would decide, not today. It's not a good time. It's not a good enough place. Whatever the excuse was, and I would keep on smoking relentlessly. Until I had another fainting spell that resulted in me needing stitches in my head from hitting it on something in my bathroom. Then I had another one after a day of smoking with friends. Luckily, no stitches that time. I had another three incidents over the course of three months. I was terrified to even smoke a little bit. Stoner rock bottom. I drank a bottle of wine one day. I've been working out religiously. I've been playing guitar and writing again. I've been skateboarding in the sun. I've been spending time with my best friends. I've focused on the work at hand and been inspired by great people to do great things and feel the fire in me again to do my own great things. I was watching a podcast about a spirited man named Van Nystad who said something wise that resonated with me. Like I, I tried to get it across in the video very subtly when I was like, you know, there's this amazing shot of me like riding in the sunset in Maine. And it just says, sometimes it was like this, you know, before mm. I was sober, sometimes it was like this, riding my motorcycle in Maine. But that's what we hang on to. And but I, well, the point I'm making is that like, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't a hundred percent bad. This thing was used. These tools were useful at the time. They got us through. I don't want to live life as an addict, but after everything I've been through and everything I've done, I sure sound like one. I don't want to let this plant, this great tool that brought me so much creativity and joy go. But I don't know if it's good for me anymore. I don't want to live with bitter thoughts towards it because so many of my memories are not all bad. And in fact, are some of the best times I've had in my life. I don't want to let this thing control my life anymore. But do I have it in me to not let it get the best of me? Can I have both or do I need to make a choice? I choose life, myself, and I trust I have the strength to do what I need to do.